is the Greek freak. Doesn't lead the team in scoring today, but still, he's, he's, mm-hmm. we already know what he's going to do. You can't stop him, Smith. You talked about you thought the wall was going to be built. That defensive strategy pretty much doesn't work anymore. He's still able to do whatever he wants at any time. Yeah, you're totally right. Because I think right now he is. Um, it used to be a lot of just brute strength. Now he's understand, understanding how to slow his pace down, shift gears. As you watch right here, they're doing a nice job of getting a pick. And obviously, Drew Holiday getting him some easy baskets. And what can you do? Now there's a small down there. And you're not going to be able to contest that. But this is when he's at the best. Getting it off the rebound. Remember, this used to be full speed. Now he's measuring. He's letting the defense rotate. He's letting the shooters get in the way so you have to build back out. And then once he beats the first guy, most guys are not really there to challenge. And then New Orleans Noel does the right thing. He try to get there early and then now Giannis is making you pay with the pass. I love this pick and roll. You can see he sets the pick. This is what we wanted to see. You see him, everybody setting the pick for him. When he rolls and goes downhill, it's just hard. He sucks everybody in. You can pump fake. And Bobby Portis is knocking down the jump shot because Mitchell Robinson's like, I got to protect rim. This is the old big and the small set to pick and roll. And most smalls don't even know what they're doing. He showed on the wrong side. And then that's an easy layup for Giannis, even though he didn't have a. But see, that's the problem. Post players get in trouble for this all yes. the time. Guard the screen, help. Well, and see what point guards do on screens? You see well, what I'm talking about? I did you see that? that. Lenny Wilkins, me and Mookie ran 2 1 because. Point guards never knew how to no, show. No, you don't know how to show. Just, just you don't know how corner. to ice. Like, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. Yeah. So I and bigs it. definitely aren't getting over screens. So. No, for sure. No, nah, yeah. no. Nah. And, and with that said, Candace, is this Bucks team still the team to beat in the East, in your opinion? Yes. Why? Because they haven't even really hit their stride yet. And that, at the beginning of the season, they lost a number of games because of people in and out of the lineup and things like that. Now you're seeing what they're capable of doing. Obviously, very sound defensively. I don't even think Drew Holiday gets enough credit for, for being able to, A, one-on-one defend, but mm-hmm. then also collectively. You have guys like Middleton. You have Giannis, who's, who's able to get out and move his feet and things like that. Bobby Portis um, cleaning up rebounds. This team is so good just collectively, defensively. They figured out Giannis Mm -hmm. where they're not always having him be the one that receives the screen. They're mixing it up. They're getting him in the pocket pass going downhill, which is impossible to guard. And you're seeing now, like, they're not turning the ball over. They're not turning the ball over that much like they were in in, in past years. So I just – I really do think that they like the fact that people aren't really talking about them. They're talking about Golden State and they're talking about Phoenix. Mm -hmm. They're talking about the Bucks and Brooklyn. Smitty, who are you talking about? Uh, in the East, I'm talking about Milwaukee right now as they're constructed and others. And the reason why also, to add to Candace, is they have some shooters. But what I love about their shooters is Grayson Allen and Pat Connaughton, DiVincenzo, and Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday. If you run them off the line, they can make the next play. I mean, if Pat Connaughton runs off the line, you might get dunked on. Grayson Allen, you might get dunked on. And then also, they compete defensively. So I look at it as they have more guys that can do more things. I can run the offense through Giannis. Obviously, you can run the offense through Drew. You can run the offense through Chris Middleton. At times, you can go through Bobby Porter. Now, DeMarcus Cousins, say what you want, for about four or five trips down, if you got a small on DeMarcus Cousins, he's going to make you punish. And then all of them can make the next pass. And all of them just don't have to do a a pump fake step side and shoot a three. (laughs) They can make the next play, and they defend. And I want to add one more thing. Last year, I feel like Giannis – taking threes no matter whether he was mm-hmm. making them or not it seems like if he he's zero for two tonight and then he decided to go away from it a lot of times last year he was going zero for five zero mm-hmm. for six mm-hmm. you know like he was forcing it like he was forcing it Proof this game i think he's he's coming into the, willing to take a three but he's not reliant right. and dependent on proving to everybody that he can make it he's shooting efficient obviously six for eight from the free throw line which i think was a huge key and them even winning um, in Milwaukee last year was him knocking down free throws, and it's scary. It, 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 this team, not a lot of people are talking about it, and I think it's they scary. like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Giannis with his first triple-double of the season as the Bucks get the win against the Knicks in MSG. And listen, hey, they're, they're still a favorite in my opinion. Everybody's talking about these other teams. Do not sleep on the Bucks. They